goal. So QR is seven less than twice X. So for whatever reason in the English language, the seven less comes after the twice X. I don't make the rules. That's what it is. RS is 61 less than five times X. RS. So could you tell me the equation for that or the expression for that here, please? 60 times less? 61 less than five times X here. It's very similar to the previous one I just, just mentioned. Oh, so that would be um, 5X minus 61? Yes. QS is 11 more than that. Okay. Now, equilateral triangle, what does that mean about the sides and the angles? Uh, what does the word equal mean? Uh, it means they're all equal. No, all three sides are equal. All sides, angles, the same. So it really doesn't matter which two sides you set equal. You might want to do these two because they're easier. That's what I would recommend. Now, go ahead and solve that for X. I'm going to just step away for 30 seconds, but I'll be right back. So Okay, let me know if you have any questions about how to solve this for X. X equals 18. That is correct. Very good. All right, now that's X, check, we've done that. Now the measure of each side, do you have to put this into all three equations? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, you, you absolutely can, like there's nothing wrong with that, but since it's equilateral, Will you get the same result each time? You know, will you get will you get the same number? Two times eighteen minus seven, five times eighteen minus sixty-one, uh eighteen plus eleven. Will you get the same result? Yeah. So the answer is kind of like, well, maybe depends how much time you got. You got infinite time, certainly do it. Um Will you confirm that those are all the same? Okay, just give me one second. Okay, the first one is 29. Second one is 84. Try again. And, uh, Five times 18 minus 61. And the last one is 29. Did you try that middle one? Did you get 29 for it? I got... Because you said 84, and I said, hey, why don't you retry? Because it should be 29.
Sometimes you got to clear out the calculator. That's 61. Yep, it's Yeah, mine, right mine here. is 61. Okay, I'm going to send you something. I forget if we did it or not. So we I'm... got one more. We have 15 to do. But yeah, you can send over something else if you'd like. Yeah, we did it. All right, let me know when you're ready for us to go through number 15. Okay, I'm ready. All right, it says triangle WXY is an isosceles triangle. This is the important part, WX congruent to WY. So the left side congruent to the right side. Now, I want you to try to write this as an equation, three more than four times X. Give me that as an equation, please. Okay, so 4x plus 3. That works. And give me the next, the next one there. X, Y is seven less than five times X. Five X minus seven. Okay. W, Y, sorry, I get, I get the wrong, I get the wrong side here. Sorry, this one is, W, Y is 66 less than seven times X. Put that in the wrong spot. I do apologize. Okay. All right. Now we have three sides here, but it's the two congruent sides that we have to set equal. 4x plus 3 equals 7x minus 66. Will you uh, will you work out solving this one for us, please? Okay, x equals 23. Very good. Okay, so that is correct. Um, so now they want you to put that back into in all three sides. So let me make a little table here. Wx, uh, 4x plus 3. So that's 4 times 23 plus 3. And then xy is... 5x minus 7, so 5 times 23 minus 7. And then the last one there, wy is 66 less than 7 times x, 7 times 23 minus 66. Do you want to calculate those for us, please? Okay, so the first one is 23. You, when you say that, like, okay, it's the first four one times 23. 23. Yeah, yeah, in all, right. So you're going to have to put that number in for all. 
Wait. Okay, wait. So the second one is uh, 108. Oh, wait. What's the first one? It's 95. Okay, and then 108. Yeah, and then the last one is 95. Good. All right, excellent. Any questions on that? No. Nope. All right. No. And yeah, I wasn't able to find something new. Okay. Um, I'll just make up some problems then for the last 10 minutes, unless you've got other ones that you want us to work on. Unless you got anything else that comes to mind. No, I, it looked like freaking everywhere. No. You said physics is going okay? Mm hmm All right. So the other thing with... Uh, actually, this is probably good for us to do. We haven't done anything like this yet. Um, as you've been focusing on so much on the uh, the side lengths. But you can also look at the angle measures. No. Belly. So in, a, in an isosceles triangle, if the sides are the same, the base angles are the same. Mm -hmm. So what is the value of X in this triangle? Value of, it's a, it's a 46. 46, good. Now, do you remember Belly, what the there. sum of the interior angles is in a triangle? What do they all add up to? Uh, sum, like all the of them. Sum, yeah, the sum. What do they all add up to? Uh, forty-six. Sum means addition. Like, what do these three angles add up to in a triangle? Oh, so forty-six plus forty-six. But what? So, what is the grand total? Like, what? Like, there, there's a number here that I'm looking for. That are, is Oh, a triangle equals 180. Yes. So that is how you can find the missing missing angle. Yeah. Could you uh could you do that for us, please? Mm -hmm. 88. Okay. Y equals Very 88. Good. Very good. All right. So let's look at another one here. Here's another style of problem you'll see. Let's say these two sides are the same, and this angle right here is uh, 46 degrees. Okay. I want you to find X and Y. Now, this looks more complicated than the previous problem. It's actually just a, a reverse of it. It's 46 okay so I get 134 okay is the missing angles and what do you know about x and y in this? Well, they're the same. That's right. So that 134 is split between them. Oh, so that would be times two. Wait, no. Divided. Divide, yeah, divided. It's uh, 60, 67. Very good. Okay, so that whole idea that like the same, the base angles are the same is really, really important. Okay, so that applies to a problem like this one. Not nip in. Not like, so pick up your backpack. All right, so like this triangle here, the only I, angle that's okay. not indicated is M. Is it M okay. seven ah. Y or is it four Y minus fifteen? Which uh 
Yeah, just let me know. I noticed you muted yourself. Just let me know when you're back. You know, if you need to take a minute or two. Okay. Uh, is is M four Y minus fifteen or seven Y? Four Y equals minus. Minus. Sorry, you were breaking up for a second. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to ask you: Is M is angle M the seven Y or four Y minus fifteen? It's uh. It's the four y minus sixteen. Yes. Now this time, this time you have to use the fact that they all add up to one eighty. Okay. So to solve this equation here, you have to combine like terms. Like, what is four y plus four y plus seven y? What does that add up to? Fifteen y. Fifteen y, and then what is minus fifteen minus fifteen? Negative thirty. Okay, so I'd like you to try solving this equation for y, please. Okay. It's uh, y equals 14. Mm -hmm. Good. So now you can put that back in. You can put it back in if you needed to. That would be part of the process. Uh, we don't have to do that, but that would be that would be kind of the, the next next set of steps here. OK. Let's look at another problem here. I appreciate your willingness to try some different problems tonight. Okay, this missing angle down here, is it 4x plus 1 or is it 5x minus 4? It's 4x plus 1. It is 4x plus 1. Good. So, uh, why didn't that copy? All right, this is 4x plus 1. So the three angles, 4x plus 1, plus 4x plus 1, plus 5x minus 4 equal 180. In the previous problem, do you remember what we did first when we got to this line? We uh, subtracted 4x. We subtracted all the x's with the y's. Let's go, to, in that let's go case. take a look. How do we get 15y? We added them. Added them. So you're going to add the 4x, the 4x, okay. and the 5x. What does that become? That's 13x. Okay, 13x. And then what about the numbers here? Plus 1, plus 1, minus 4. So that's uh, negative 2. What? Yep, negative 2 equals 180. Mm -hmm. Let me okay, solve could that. You, could you, yeah, could you solve this for us, please? Yeah. So it equals 14. Yeah, that's 14 again, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. These problems aren't very interesting. Okay. Um, you kind of get the idea here of what we're doing on these. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, okay, if we stop a little early tonight. Yeah. All right. Let me go ahead and just uh, stop the recording here and close out with you. All right, stop the recording.